When I was in fifth grade, I went to this school in a small town in Montana over in the plains. I have currently moved across the state but I still hate thinking back on it. At the time I was friends with two girls named Hallie and Bella. I haven't seen them since I moved as they were not great people. But one day Bella's older brother and his friend went to this house because the school grounds that has been abandoned for a while. For a quick note Bella and her brother also lived behind the school only about 30 yards away from the house. When Bella's brother and his friend went in the house had pictures of a little boy around and had the normal stuff you would see in a house but covered in dust. The two boys saw a check on a table then Bella's brother tried to grab it but when he did and her felt a pain on his back and later they found out it was scratches on his back. Well the two decided to keep looking around and they found a hole in the roof that led to the attic and something was looking down from them. I never got a description of the thing but I'm glad I didn't. The next day Bella told me and Hallie the story of her brother and his friend and the three of us decided to go and check it out ourselves. I remember it was a Thursday and we didn't have school the next day so that's when we went to the house. But we did have a little problem with the boys following us and they told us to go in there and went in and said they locked the doors but we later learned that they never did. We didn't go into the house but not because they just simple told us not to. We wanted to go around the house before we went and so the boys didn't see us go in since they were leaving. Well we started at the front door then we started to walk to the other side but at the corner was a piece of a wire fence and a wooden wheel leaned against the wall. We stopped at the wheel to look at it. But the walls must have been thin because near the wall on the second floor of the house we heard something big moving inside and all of us ran into this patch a grad that was between Bella's house the school and the other house but we could still see the house clearly. Once we were a safe distance away we looked back at the house and though the window we saw a shape of a head watching us though the open window, we couldn't see the color or any details we just saw the shape. Then we started to walk back to the school as my and Hallie's moms were going to pick us up. But when we were still in the grass we looked at the house again and didn't see the head but instead in a different window that was bored up we saw a white hand sticking out it looked like it was waving and trying to escape at the same time then we ran again till we got to the student parking lot. But the weird thing is that there was a line of hair ties 5 to 4 feet away each time and stopping at the beginning of the sidewalk against the school. We don't know if it's something to do with the events that just happened as they weren't there before for it or if it was just a high school girl being funny as our school was a K-12 school. All us went back home but that's not the end sadly. Later that month the wired stuff started happening. One day at school Bella heard walking on the school roof while in the bathroom by something big. Later that day it looked like something kicked a thin border decoration on the roof as it was hanging of the roof now. Also Bella had heard one door open in her house when she was home alone. I never felt not watched in my home anymore. And that's all on that story but I have one more short one. A couple months before or after that event I can't remember with. Me my sister and my mother were sleeping in my mom's room and our two conquer spaniels we in there with us. My grandma was in her room asleep. I was the only ones awake besides the cats and dogs. I then heard footsteps in the kitchen but they were too light to be my grandmother's and the cat never came downstairs and we didn't have my current cat yet. And like I said both the dogs were in the room. I woke my mother up and told her and she said it's just the dogs go to sleep before going back to sleep herself. I personally think it was my great grandmother. She had died in that very house a couple of years ago I wonder if she was the thing I felt watching me. Though sadly we did have to leave that house shortly afterwards as that town was not good for us. And it is no longer in the family, but still till this day paranormal activity is still around me. Word noises in the contrary when I visit my father. My crush's mother getting dragged out of her bed by her hair from something invisible, and so much more so if you're in a small town and you start to hear rumors.